Hey there, this is Niels Beardfoot. Today I want to show you how to build a leather kettle skull that fits perfect on your costumes and armor. So we start with printing out the pattern on paper and I highly recommend a paper model first to make sure the size fits and then simply put it on the leather and start cutting out. To get into the corners more easily, I like to use some tools with a curved blade, but you simply can use hole punches with the same effect. I also use these curved blade tools for the teeth. I mark down all the lines for leather carving and also the holes I have to punch. Now bevel the edges. This is about thinning out the leather around the eyes and the cheekbones to make sculpting more easy. Wet the leather and let it set for a few minutes. And then you can start tooling with your swivel knife and your stamps. I use the remaining moisture in the leather to punch the edges and mark on which edges I need to punch sewing holes and the distance to the edge. Marking where I have to punch holes for sewing. I use a round punch to punch the sewing holes. Usually I would do a diamond shape punch when I use regular sewing thread. Here I start stretching out the eye holes outwards and also giving the skull its rough shape. Usually next step would be dyeing, but since I do not want to dye the skull, I use two layers of resist and let them dry for at least two hours. While the drying process, I use my slicker to burnish all the edges again. After the resist dried completely, I apply my antique gel. Then wipe away all the excess. To secure the antique gel, I applied another coat of resist so it does not get washed away by water that easily. Just make sure it does not cool. Now put on contact cement at the front area, which is meant to be glued together, and wait a few minutes, press it together, hammer it down, and let it dry. Next, I rework the edge I glued with burnishing and hole punching. I use leather bands for sewing, which is not completely necessary, but I decided to go for it since it looks quite nice. 
For hardening, I put it in hot water, 50 to 60 degrees Celsius should be fine for 5 to 10 minutes. Next up is the hard part. I use my bone folder to shape the skull. I stretch the leather from inside and use pictures of skulls as reference how it should look like. The skull needs about 8 hours to dry, which is plenty of time to make sure that it has exactly the shape that you want. The same way I proceeded with the skull, I also proceeded with the jaw bones and the horns. I marked down where to punch the holes for the jaw bones and also for the horns. Then I punched them. and use glue and thread to sew them on permanently. This will be very messy since most of the part you can't even see the needle and where to put it exactly. Just take your time and it will be nice. The construction of the skull was too weak for me, so I glued in two pieces of leather from the inside. And we are done! I hope you enjoyed the video, leave a comment, subscribe and see you guys next time. Ciao!